All right, guys, so this video is for anyone who wants to set up less to work with a JetBrains IDE. Now, I'm using IntelliJ, but it doesn't matter what JetBrains IDE you're using, they're all the same. So what you need to do is you need to go to File and Settings, and first under Languages and Frameworks, scroll down until you see Node.js and NPM. Now, as you can see, I already have the package installed, but you guys aren't going to have this. What you want to do is you want to click this little green plus button and make this so you guys can see and search for the package less L E S S. Now before you hit install package head over to options and check this because we want to add the option of minus G. This is going to install the less package globally in other words so you can use it on your entire computer and not just specific to this project it's a lot easier that way so once you have that set up hit install again I already have it installed so that's why I'm not clicking any of this and once it does you guys should see this less package too right here so hit apply and okay if you want but essentially you now have less package set up that you can use now here's the thing whenever we use less what we're going to be doing is we're going to be typing less syntax and converting it to CSS. Now it's going to be a pain in the butt if every little thing we type we're going to need to hit a button that says like translate or convert to CSS. So I'm going to show you guys another cool thing that you can do and that is install a file watcher. Now what a file watcher is going to do is it's a plugin that automatically converts your less code to the proper CSS anytime you make any changes. So all happens automatically quickly behind the scenes it's all taken care of for you so if you go to file settings and from here go to plugins then what you can do is you can look for a plugin called file watchers this one right here now again I already have it installed so that's why it says uninstall for me but it's gonna say install for you so click that and once you have it installed then hit apply and at this point I think that um, JetBrains asks you to restart your IDE so just hit restart and then it's gonna pop you up and you're essentially just gonna have the plugin ready to go so you have the file watcher plugin but what you need to tell it now is hey start watching my less files so in order to do this and actually to get that plugin up and running go to file settings tools and if you expand this you're gonna see that you now have the file watcher tool and as you can see it's now watching my less files because I already set this up but if you go to this plus button right here and select less you're pretty much telling it hey watch any less files I have and automatically compile them or translate them into CSS so select this and also if you guys decided ever to use SAS or SCSS then this is how you do it the same and some other cool things um, compressors if you guys know what those are basically to like a um, way to minify code anyways I'm getting kind of off track here I get a little bit too excited about writing CSS code I guess but anyways that's how you do it hit apply okay and boom you're good to go so now you don't ever have to worry about like translating it manually or you know taking it and converting it to CSS JetBrains takes care of all of it for you pretty stinking awesome so uh, yeah there you go in the next video we're gonna get started learning how to use less